Well, we did ask for a way out, and that mysterious old man delivered. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, that's disappointing. This guy is... Yep, that's a sound sleep if I've ever seen one. Better stay quiet. La 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 la. That's fine. Could you imagine? Oh, an extra magic lens. Nice. These guys knew we would be desperate for them. You've regained your belongings. There we go, now that Yuri's an <laughs> idle model. Looks a little less strange. He doesn't carry his sword over his back, he just sort of holds it at the side. He always does. Right, toodle pip, sleeping soldier. They spotted me. Let's get this over with. Oh, yep. <laughs> not as much as this. Well, not this, but what will come after? Night Fencers. These are basic scrub soldiers. Nice faceless enemies. That's how you know they're going to be defeated. I've watched Star Wars Rebels. I know how these things work. Again, just like with Adicor and Bokos, try your best to line yourself up so that one is blocked by the other. We're done. Okay, so you can see on this screen we have grade detail that we can examine by pressing X. Grade is a special currency that is only useful for two things. One of which which is perhaps the more important of the two, is only relevant towards the end of the game. When we do finally have a use for grade, I will let you know. And we get a few drops as well. Apple gel, night water, and iron grip. The little claw symbol means that it's raw materials. We will have a use for those in due time. Take a load off for a while. My rap sheet is long enough as it is. I guess I don't have much choice but to fight if they discover me. I need to be wary of these guys on patrol. Automatically enter a battle upon contact with an enemy symbol on the world map. This music is different. Also, you don't have to worry too much about stealth. In fact, we actually do want to try and fight these guys. Because they will net us experience! Guess we can do this. Yeah, I guess we can do this. Oh! It had a double swipe. Ow. We're done. If you stay in one area long enough, the enemies will respawn, but for now, we should be okay just clearing out all of them. This is good practice if you want to try out the different combos with Yuri, such as a downward standard attack. Or an upward standard attack. You can still chain them all with Azure Edge, so don't worry too much about which one you prefer. A Holy Bottle. These things work like repels in Pokemon. If you use one, then enemies don't try and fight you for a certain amount of time. Sometimes enemies will get stuck in your way, however, and you do have to fight them. In those events, you just have to stand near them for a while. Oh, man. All right, all oh right. hello! This guy's armed with something else. He's a Knight Lancer! More or less the same as his counterpart. He probably has a bit more reach, thanks to that weapon! Haha! Or just taunt. Okay. We're done. <laughs> yes, both you and the enemies can taunt. It's virtually useless just now, but it will become useful later. An orange gel. Okay, we didn't have access to these before. Orange gel recovers 30% of your maximum TP. Really good for long drawn out battles. We've not been using Azure Edge much because we can take down the enemies easily enough, but 
later battles, we will definitely want to replenish our TP every so often. Uh, let's head through here. I know we have some goodies down here. Command the heavens with the power of the ring. When all eight wings are spread, a circle of light shall shine above the child of the full moon, and the fourth door shall open. That doesn't have any relevance to us just now. Ooh, a cape. Generic cape made of cloth, a standard accessory for rookies. This is an accessory, so we could just go to equipment and stick it on Yuri. There we go. Physical and magical defense boost. It's a small amount, but we'll take any advantage we can get at the start here. And what do we have in here? Another life... well... A life bottle. <laughs> Why did they change the music? Maybe this is brand new stealth music. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. I quite like it. It's a bit more ominous. <laughs> go back. I can't go back now. This is for your own good, miss. You know that. As for the incident, we assume full responsibility and will inform the lieutenant ourselves. How can you say that when you haven't done anything to help me? Please, don't come any closer. Now, now, why don't you put that down? You'll only end up hurting yourself. I know how to use a sword! I'm afraid you leave us no choice. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Hey! There she is! This way! Please! You've got to let me go! I have to warn Flynn! Did she say Flynn? Identify yourself. Man, just when I thought I was being sneaky, things have to go to hell. Careful, I think he's gonna blast you. It shouldn't be a problem if we take him together. Haha, <laughs> that's what you think, Knight Fencers, but I have learned the art of the free run. Oh, that did hurt. Oh. This will hurt. This will like hurt. This will hurt. Ow. You like this will hurt. Man, is this what knights do now? Oh dear. Because I was a bit sloppy in that battle, we actually lost grade. <laughs> you're going to you're going to want to avoid that whenever possible. Don't they teach these guys manners in night school anymore? Yeah. Hey, are you trying to kill me? Well, you don't belong in the castle, right? No, and I'll take it as a compliment that you can tell that by looking at me. Yuri Lol, where are you? You foul fugitive! I say, we know you're trying to make your escape. Oh, please, not them again. I guess there's no point in going back to the prison cell now. Louder, fools. Say it like you mean it. Lieutenant LeBlanc, your voice is too loud. My ears. Yuri Lowell? You're one of Flynn's friends, aren't you? Yeah. Why? And you used to belong to the Imperial Knights. Just for three short months. You hear that from Flynn? Yes. Huh. <laughs> Guess he managed to find someone at the castle he could talk to after all. Yuri, I need to talk to Flynn. Hold on just a second. Who are you supposed to be, anyway? I can tell you know Flynn, but why are you being chased by the knights? Over here! Listen, I want to hear the whole story, but 
We can't really afford to stand around and chat. First things first, let's get to Flynn's place. Want me to lead the way? Uh, yes. Let's go. Okay, we've picked up a passenger of sorts. If we were to try going to the left back there, then we would have been encouraged <laughs> to turn away. And I guess we cannot go that way either. Mmm, something smells tasty. Oh, you're right. What could it be? Oh yeah, isn't the night's dining hall around here? Why, yes it is. Oh! <laughs> Intruder! Oh man. Alright, alright. Okay, just taunt, I guess. <laughs> We're done. Why do they make them taunt so much? Well, I am not complaining. See me? See me here? I am not complaining. Now this place is really useful for this early in the game. Uh, first I'm going to do a bit of rummaging because that's how I roll. Anything not taped to the ground, I will take. <laughs> hey, egg. A cooking ingredient used for various dishes. It is rich in protein. Did I, or indeed the game, have to explain to you one what an egg is? I guess not. Ta-da! We can keep gum we can keep coming back here to just heal up. We can go outside, fight the guards, come back, heal up, go back, fight the guards, rinse and repeat. Let's get this over with. Yeah, easy win. Usually when you run into an enemy on the overworld like this, it will be the same enemies that you fight in the actual battle. Uh, let's take care of this guy. Oh, man. All right, all right. One guy, huh? You like that? Yeah, easy one. I do confess I'm still getting a little used to the B and A buttons, <laughs> being, in a dif being in a different place. This game is very hardwired into me from the Xbox 360, so you know I'm still mentally using that controller. Let's get this over with. Oh, charge attack! That won't work here. Man, I was just getting warmed up. And we have another life bottle. Excellent. Life bottles are a little too expensive for what little money we have now. Yeah, we've not even made back the money that we got, <laughs> that we spent at the start. Oh, uh, hello. Let's get this over with. Like Most that? enemies that you run into in the overworld will try and fight you when you get into their line of sight, but otherwise you, want revenge? Bring it. you can wander right up to them from the back and they won't do anything. What is good though is that we're acquiring a few extra apple gels along the way. What does this do? Boom? What is this, a bombable wall in Ocarina of Time? Nah. <laughs> That just opens this gate, but unfortunately we cannot use it from this side. We'll need to go around. Now considering that we have the Knight's Kitchen right there, and these guys respawn, I would highly recommend at least leveling Yuri up at least once before we go any further. It's good for progression, it's good for other things that might be coming up soon, and it's good for helping me and you get used to the controls, so I will beat these guys to oblivion a few times and be right back. Yuri Lowell! Let's get this over with. 
You like this one? You like that? Yeah, easy win. I feel power running all through my body. Excellent, excellent. Yuri has leveled up. Just like in any RPG, your character levels up. All their stats go up too, or most of them should. Okay, we can spare you from further embarrassment. Oh, never mind. Are you stuck? Oh, man. I shall unburden you of your life. You clearly haven't earned it yet. <laughs> Just a punch to the neck is all, it, all that's needed. And we got an orange gel from that battle. That is good. That is good. Uh, let's see what we have in terms of items. Ten apple gels, three orange gels. I am not complaining. Oh, and before we start, I am aware that there are some bonus um, costumes that I can redeem, thanks to this being the definitive edition. I thought I would wait until we have every character that can possibly be in our party before we open those. Another apple gel. Very good. And a save point. Considering how many things there are that we could possibly miss in this game, I will be making a habit of rotating the saves, at least until... <laughs> At least until I'm certain that we haven't missed anything. Sneaky, sneaky. You can run around as fast as you want, as long as they don't look at you, you're okay. Guess we can do this. Yeah, I guess we can do this. around here this is Flint's room <laughs> that was a piece of dialogue that I think was better um, not being spoken uh, let's check inside right now he's really keeping this place cleaned up Flynn must be off gallivanting around somewhere. Then that means I'm too late. So, what sort of wickedness did you do anyway? Me? I haven't done anything wrong. And yet a bunch of knights were chasing you around the castle. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, you see, Yuri! Whoa, what is it? I can't be specific, but Flynn is in terrible danger. I've got to go and warn him. So, go if you want to go. What's wrong with that? I wish I knew. Listen, I've got something I've got to take care of right away, too. As soon as things quiet down outside, I want to get back to the lower quarter. In that case, would you take me with you, please? Other than Flynn, there's no one I can depend on. Will you at least help me get out of the castle? Please. I'm begging you. <sighs> okay, I can see you're serious, but why don't you tell me your name first? to fall victim to my blade. Haven't you ever heard of knocking? I am Soggy, the man who will end your life. Now die, Flynn Shifo! Oh, it's Soggy! Come on, come on, come on! Magic lens! Here he is! Zagi! 
Level 8. He's got 4,500 hit points, which makes him way stronger than anything that we've fought so far. Resistance, resistant to fire, weak to water, that doesn't affect us much considering our only art is wind attribute. But this guy packs a punch. I'd better be careful. You really should listen a little more. My name is Saki. Remember it well, Flynn. Listen, I'm not... Die. He's got a shield. Oh, what's wrong? Our downward sweep attacks probably won't help too much because of that shield. We need to hit him harder per... Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. We need to damage him more per hit. Yeah. This is gonna be fun! Whoa. Okay, whatever we do, do not let the lady get attacked. Do I have to scan him again? I don't think so, but let's just be absolutely certain. Oh, I do! <laughs> and I think in doing so, I gave myself some invincibility frames there. That cyclone shot art hurts a lot. Yeah, his health has gone up. He's now at 5,000 hit points. That makes him like 10 times stronger than any of the knights that we've fought. So just remember your, your basic combos. Just remember to guard. Don't let the lady get hit too much and we should be okay. Stay away, lady! We met. Seriously, think we can talk to him? Let's just take him out already. You're strong. <laughs> oh, that hurts. <laughs> yes! Do I look like Flynn to you? Not in the least. Oh, and we got the secret mission! <laughs> Brilliant. Ally did not receive frequent attacks. So this is a thing that I both love and hate this game for. A great many of the bosses will have secret missions associated with them, where either by paying attention to the boss or paying attention to something on the battlefield or something in the story, you can learn of an easier way to defeat the boss or you can learn of a a sneaky thing that you can do to drop their shield or attack them while they're stunned. If you can pull those off, then you usually get a message that pops up saying, GREAT! And you'll get 10 extra grade <laughs> for the battle. So I am happy for that. And we took his boots. <laughs> and a sage. Those herbs are permanent, permanent status increases. I won't be using any of them, at least until I've got at least one of each, so that we can see what they all do. And we got 300 gold from that fight, which I will not complain about. And we did not level up. You've got the wrong guy. Aren't you supposed to know this stuff? He's not Flynn. Details, details, bring it! This guy's nuts. Flynn sure has made some interesting enemies. Zoggy, we're leaving. The knights are on to us. How dare you? <laughs> Mind your own business. I'm just getting to the best part. Hurry, before the knights get here. Or would you rather have your fun end today?
We should be getting a move on too. We'll just go pay a visit to the goddess and be on our way. Yuri, um... Yeah, I know. We'll stick together until we're out of the castle. Oh, right. But I was gonna say, my name is Estelise. Well then, Estelise, let's get moving. Wait, we can't just leave the door like that. I really don't think this is the time to worry about something like that. But... All right, all right, just, just give me a minute. There, good as new. Now let's get going. Uh, okay. That went better than I expected. Was Zaki's health lowered, or was I just bad at that boss battle? <laughs> in previous lives. Oh, hello. Oh man. All right, all right. You want revenge? Bring it. I think I've been playing too much Tales of Berseria where I try to, you know, run behind the enemies to ambush them. This is because of those guys earlier. They better not try to pin this on me too. I hope no one was hurt. Don't worry about the knights. They'll make sure to protect themselves. Yes, I guess so. You're it all! Where are you hiding? That must be LeBlanc. I'd recognize those dulcet tones anywhere. Do the two of you know each other? We have a bit of a history. Come on, let's hurry. We should do something about your clothes. You stick out like a sore thumb. My room is just up ahead. I have a change of clothes there. Okay, that'll work. So I have to wonder, does anyone of Flynn's rank and higher get a room in the castle? I mean, I know it's a big castle, but that's, that's pretty good. This is my room. I'll go get changed. Just give me a minute. Got it. Try to be quick about it. Just in case. It's not like I was going to peek. Flynn did tell me to be careful if I ever met you. Well, thanks, Flynn. There, all finished. What? Do, do I look strange? It's nothing. I was just thinking this doesn't suit you either. Really? What's this? A handshake. It means... Nice to meet you. This is a Japanese game, remember? All right, let's get going. Thanks. Yay, Esteli's joined the party. Welcome to the party, Esteli's. Esteliz is your healer. Esteliz Sidos Hurasain. What a name. And she's only three experience points away from leveling up. Okay. Um, Esteliz is very slow, but that's okay because she will usually spend most of her time hanging back and casting healing arts. She does have a couple of strike arts as well. Let's have a look at what she's got. Oh. <laughs> I stand corrected. Currently, she only has first aid. But here is something that is often overlooked. 
You see that prompt down there? X to use the art? You can cast healing arts outside of battle. It still costs you TP, as you might expect, but... You can use these outside of battle! This is something that I always thought was really weird in older RPGs, that... <laughs> why would you have to wait until you're in battle in order to use some of these spells, but... There you go. Okay, what does she have? Uh, she has a saber, a buckler, which is a nice tiny shield, a hairband, leather guard, and... Oh, we have boots that we can give her <laughs> that will make her slightly more agile and a physical defense boost. You can see down the bottom right there, the icons are who we can equip these to. So both Yuri and Estelle could wear the leather boots, but since Yuri has a swish cape, Let's give the boots to Este Estelise. Yuri, you were a knight once, right? Didn't you already say you heard about me from Flynn? Well, it's just... You don't seem to know your way around the castle well. Are you an imposter? That's some imagination you've got. Why would I want to impersonate a regular guy from the lower quarter? I... I guess you're right. Come on, let's go before we're caught by the castle guards. We've already been ambushed several times by the castle guards. It's locked. Oh. <laughs> Esteliz, you locked your room behind you? Your room door behind you? Oh well. Guess we can do this. Oh yes, yeah, so now that we've got Esteliz. Ow. <laughs> Is there an echo in here, folks? Next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. <laughs> that little back and forth is cute at first, but it will get old. I feel power running all through my body. Oh, I feel so powerful. The character interactions will change depending on who kills more enemies and obviously who you have in your party. I just wanted to check on the lower quarter and come back. I didn't expect the extra baggage. Baggage? I could take it to the castle's lost and found for you. You're the one person I couldn't really ask to take care of it. Huh? Never mind. I'm good. Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. Guess she's the textbook little naive noble. But why were those knights chasing her? We're all as confused as you are, Yuri. Uh, yes, this takes us to the other side of the gate. wicka Don't get sloppy! I have no intention of getting sloppy. Oh! New art! Learned! Cerberus Strike. Quickly punch the enemy three times. Now, by default, a new art will go to a slot that we don't have filled. However, you can put whatever you want to any slot you care for. You can even remove them if you wanted to. You can also assign arts to the right stick, but this is where it gets a, a little more interesting. With the right stick, you can change what character you're referring to. So even though I'm Yuri, I could use right stick up to tell Esteliz to cast first aids. Well, she didn't quite get a chance to resolve it there, but that's what happens. Really good if you're in a pinch, and Esteliz does learn some long-range magic art attacks, so having the ability to call on those just with a, a stick press, really handy. Did I miss this before? Oh dear. You didn't see anything, buddy. Oh, <laughs> he heard me though. Oh, man. All right, all right. You saw nothing. Beaten by punch to the face. In armor, <laughs> no less.
I'm not. We. We're done. Oh, that was fast. What does the grade detail say for that? Finished in five seconds or less. The interior of the castle does have some symmetry, so if you get lost, then you might be able to infer where you are. Are there many people outside the castle like that man Zoggy we met earlier? No, he's one of a kind. It's pretty hard to find anyone that nuts. I see. Well, that's a relief. I don't know what I'd do if everyone behaved like that. Yeah, life would be pretty rough if the world were full of guys like him. Let's get this over with. Whoa, charge attack. Oh, he was out of range. I finished them off. Now, of course, there is nothing to stop us playing as Esteles for a little while. When you do get a new party member, you will have to make sure that the arts for that character are appropriately set. Now, casting first aid is a bit iffy on the Xbox version because you had to press the button combination to cast first aid but then you had to use the D-pad to determine the target. Oh man. All right, all right. Oh god, there's three of them. Okay, I'm taking this one. As you can see, Estelle is not quite built for combat the same way Yuri is. Before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Oh, and we got two orange gels from that. This is good. We might not have to buy any at all. Or maybe the game is being a bit generous with us. In the original version, there are like Zagi is fairly Zagi could be tough if you haven't quite got into grips with the controls, or if you haven't leveled up yet. There are some pretty tough bosses early in this game. I'm wondering if the game is just trying to be generous with us. This is the other side of the gate <laughs> that we saw before. Let's work together. A cornered cat becomes a lion. Or <laughs> nice. That means that Estelle must have gotten the kill. Though at least when it comes to the knights, we're not actually killing them, we're just knocking them out. Or sending them to the Shadow Realm. Nice! So if we want to go back and heal up in the knight's kitchen, we can do just that. Flynn, part one. Have you and Flynn known each other a long time? Um, two, maybe three years, something like that. Huh. So he's been getting along alright at the castle? Flynn is a very hard-working and honest knight. It seems like everyone trusts him. The other day, he told me that they've been giving him more responsibility lately, too. Hard-working and honest. Right. In other words, hard-headed and obsessive. Huh? Two sides to every story, huh, Yuri? Okay, before we continue towards the Statue of the Goddess, I think we're going to leave things here. Next time on Tales of Vesperia, we are getting the hell out of the castle!